This presentation offers suggested tips when considering applying for the position of U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Officer. The suggested information may not apply in all districts. So, how do you know who's hiring? Where do you go to get this information? Let's start by conducting an online job search. Some helpful sites to search. The Federal Judiciary at www.uscourts.gov. LinkedIn, Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts Probation and Pretrial Services. You may also visit a local probation and pretrial services internet page. Just look for their career opportunities link. You may also find job vacancy information on Indeed.com and other sites. So, once you have identified your respective site and job posting, how do you apply? Well, for starters, review the job announcement. Don't skim through it. Take your time and review it in its entirety. By doing so, you are able to capture important information. Make a list of requirements. This will help ensure you follow the directions as requested. Try not to be too creative. Remember, your application is not complete unless you adhere to all requirements. Let's talk about resume preparation. When you're reviewing the job announcement, pay special attention to the preferred qualifications. When summarizing your duties, be sure to highlight how your skill sets align with the desired skills outlined under preferred qualifications. This would be the time to focus more on your areas of specialization. For instance, legal research and writing skills, your knowledge and history involving evidence-based practices programming, your understanding of the role of U.S. probation and pretrial services officers. Make sure that you highlight specific tasks aligned with that of a U.S. probation and pretrial services officers, particularly in these areas. Try to avoid focusing too much on general supervision work. This is evident through your years of experience. Focus on specialized areas centered on evidence-based practices, workforce development, re-entry court, drug court, mental health court, gang court, etc. Finally, prior to submitting your application, here are some helpful tips along the way. Proofread your work. Ensure that your work embodies complete sentences, spelling, punctuations, basic grammar that is expected by all. Also, remember, these are competitive positions, so submit the best product for review by the employing agency. Remember, your work product is a reflection of you, no one else. Are you open to relocating? You may have to keep an open mind of where you are willing to start your career with the U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Office. Again, these are competitive positions and there are many trying to gain employment within the U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Office. So I would advise you to keep your options open, at least where relocation is concerned. And finally, you are applying for the position of U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Officer. We do not hire for a specific unit. In other words, we do not hire for supervision unit. We do not hire for pre-sentence unit. We do not hire for pretrial services unit. We hire U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Officers to provide service where needed within the district. The District of Minnesota seeks to attract interest from many within and outside our local commuting area. Our goal is to ensure that our U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Office for the District of Minnesota reflects the people within our community. We are a service-oriented public agency for the people by the people. So, to learn more about the U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Office for the District of Minnesota, connect with us on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. 
You may also visit us on our district webpage at www.mnp.uscourts.gov or contact our Human Resources Office here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We hope to hear from you. Until next time, the United States Probation and Pretrial Services Office for the District of Minnesota. See the possibilities and inspire change.